Hello. I'd like to, as quickly as possible, show you why you might want to consider a bowtie ski and pole carrier to help you carry your skis and poles. Um, first off, it's an adjustable handle. Two inch nylon webbing. It's about the longest in the uh, longest webbing that's available, I guess. And the reason for that is that if you want to, you adjust it down there. For some folks, it's nice to be able to have it long enough to easily go over your head and shoulders. One way to carry it. Another way to carry it. Let's just shorten that up a little bit. And carry it like this. That's fine too. Shorten it even further. And you can use it as a hand carry if you care to. So, uh, it's about as simple of a carrier as you can get, except almost every inch of it was really des designed with considerable thought in mind. In the ramp strap, most times you get hook and loop, you get two opposing and they kind of go like this and go over on top of each other. It's kind of unhandy to do that because your fingers get in the way. With the bow tie skin bow carrier, it's one long strap with a little tiny piece of elastic in the middle, just enough so that you get some tension on it. Wrap it. It also give you a little tab here. Depending on whether you're left-handed, right-handed, sometimes it's nice to be able to just hold that. That's all we're just putting on. I'll do that again in a while. Taking it off. It's just about as quick. In fact, it's actually quicker, I suppose. To refold it, I say you Z fold it. And as you bring it on like this, so that it hangs together somewhat like that. Wrap one piece around, fold it over, wrap the other piece around. Doesn't have to be too fancy. Becomes a nice small snug packet goes into your pocket, you're set. No parts to lose, really not very much to go wrong with it, period. Want to put it on your skis, you can do it one of two ways. You can either do it standing up, or you can do it, uh, as the package shows, down on the ground. For a lot of folks, the first few times they do it, putting it on while it's on the ground isn't a bad idea. Put it down, bring it up, over, across, Bring it up, over, across, and down, and there you go. You're back in business. Um, a lot of folks, too, after they've had it for a while, don't mind, don't care to kneel down in the snow on it after a cold day. If that's the case with you, it is an option after you're used to using it for a while. Hold it. Secure it, wrap it snugly, and down on the bottom, do the same thing. Wrap it snugly, and again, you're back in business. Uh, we can always hold it a little bit. If you're not happy with the way the first one went. That's all there is to it. Uh, it also works without the poles. If you care to, put the poles aside. There's plenty of overwrap on it. Again, pull it up so you get some tension on there. Pull it up here, tension, wrap it around. There you go. Not much to it. Not much to go wrong. And yet, it does a very good job of holding things snug. Um, most other snowboard carriers, one way or the other, rely on gravity. And they depend on you having to put it on in such a way so that as long as you're holding it, it's fine. But as soon as you put it down, well, you lose that advantage. 
and once you lose that advantage, it becomes kind of a sloppy part. But the bow tie steel pole carrier, it holds very nicely together. We've been told that there's a group of uh, a ski school in Park City, Utah, where it's required that the kids there have a bow tie ski and pole carrier on their skis so that they can go on the shuttle buses conveniently without falling apart. It does come in blue, it comes in black, it comes in red. It's not very expensive, it's extremely durable, and people really like it. Uh, so check our site out and see where you may want to. Uh, several places that you could have a choice if you want to pick up a bow tie stone, a ski and pole carrier for this winter. I think you're going to be happy with it. Have a good day.